What's going on everybody? Today is a crazy day. It's currently 6.30 in the morning. I'm leaving my house. It's moving day. It's, it's moving day. I can't believe it. it's fucking moving day. Alright, so we're on the move. Time check at 6 for six, 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 6.54. Wow, that was difficult. At 6.54, we're on the move, heading to Jared's. My trunk is packed. Um, and yeah. Of course, had to stop at Crossroads one last time on the way out. Get those Crossroad cookies, a little uh, going away present for myself, I guess. You shouldn't take times like these. Like, it's sad you're like leaving and everything else. But you should never take times like these at, like as a time to be sad. Think of it as like a growing and a learning opportunity. You're leaving the nest. You're sprouting wings. You stopped being a turkey. You are being a bird of the free. So yeah, it's exciting. I'm excited. Gasoline in my veins, be the fuel through my pain. Alright, so we're on the move. Uh, I I left a little earlier before uh, Jared and Noah did, or Jared's family, Noah's family. So it is my duty to get the keys to the apartment. <laughs> Shoot, interesting. Alright, <laughs> ah! right, so we made it. Um, I don't know what building it is, so I gotta I gotta figure that out. But I mean, once I figure what building it is, like, keys should be in my hand within like five minutes, so. I need to get these keys! Alright, so your boy got, oh, hello. Your boy got the keys. Oh, jeez. Um, there's three, which is what we needed. So, I've accomplished my mission. Now, uh, I need to figure out how I'm gonna get out of here. Um, I had to parallel park in order to get in the spot. And, uh, that was intense. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing in here now. Yeah. That's my room. This room is pretty big, so you do have space. This is my room. No. Do you want to clean this floor? Yeah, I'm gonna clean Inside you, I don't buy into the luck. I put my faith in my trust in my team. Everything that we done been through. Gasoline in my veins, be the fuel through my pain. As we rise, rise from the flames. Yeah, this is Jared's room. The other room is Noah's. Noah's room. And then this is our entrance. We have like three different entrances. There's laundry room in there. Whoa. Basement. My room. Whoa. Frame. Frame. Very proud of you. Living room. And my room. It's very tiny. Whoa! <laughs> Frame! <laughs> Alright, so it's it's the next morning now. Um, today is Wednesday. It's, so, we spent a night, one night here so far. Um, woke up, not bad. It's like 9 in the morning right now. I actually need to go to school, grab some stuff, pick some stuff up. Yesterday when we went to Target, literally Target was out of everything. Like literally everything from from like shower curtains to Lysol to like, I don't even know, like tacks and like literally everything. Anything you could think of like that a college student used, they're out. 
But yeah, so we're gonna go, uh, I'm about to go to school, and then I'm gonna get my stuff, and it should be a good day. It's a little wet out, as you can see. My hair is a little wet. Yeah. And so, so it's raining out right now. We went, um, went back. <coughs> we went, I picked up my stuff from school. Jared went and picked up some stuff for his school. And we went to Target, picked up some stuff there for the house. Where else would you go? I'm going to clean up my room. I'm going to clean up the area outside my room, try to get some stuff put away. You guys can see, like, different things that I got um, to make my living more comfortable. Because, so obviously, again, I have, like, the smallest room, so. Um, yeah. All right, so now that that's out of the way, um, I'm going to set that stuff up from Target that I got. Hopefully get some more boxes out of the way. Um, I have stuff like, not everything is here that I need um, for like the rest of the year. But for the most part, like the essentials are here. And that's really what matters. So I'm going to set that stuff up. Trying to make it look pretty. And we'll see what happens. So here we are, we got the shelves in here, we just take them apart, and now they fit on these walls. Yeah, almost perfectly. Almost. Almost. 48 inches, and then it was 49. Oh no, it was 46, and then it was 49. Yeah, so the shelf was 46 inches, and the space between the two walls is 49 inches. It actually ended up working pretty well. I mean, it's a bit of a pain in the ass right now because we already put it together like Jared said, but we, I just took one end off. No. What the hell? We're slowly putting it back together. Alright, so we're just about setting up the house. It's been a few days actually since my closet's been set up, but I finally got the final piece to, like, I guess, like what really brings everything together. So, I finally got my desk in today, and uh, basically we're going to put it together and see how everything good looks. So, uh, there she is. All 63 inches of her. Whoa. Whoa. Focus. Focus. Please. No, please. Oh, no. Come on. Come on. There are a lot of pieces in here. Oh no. I need a screwdriver. That's not big enough. Oh, yeah. Okay. okay. This is a lot more difficult than it should be. I'm sweating so much. I don't know if you can see like my face. But there's there's so much sweat coming off. Can't find the hole. I hate when that happens. Aha! Both of that way. That one I think I put on backwards. Oh, this bar? No, that board. Where Jared's desk is and his, it's gonna turn. What? Oh, okay. Yeah. Do you have a chair? Huh? Do you have a chair? It's coming. Next week. So obvious. So obviously, uh, this apartment isn't perfect. Um, there are some imperfections to it, <laughs> and some of them are livable, like you can live with, and some. Well, I mean, and some are just I don't know. We're afraid 
that at the end of our lease when we move out, they might see some of these imperfections and say, well, what the hell? And take our security deposit to fix certain parts. Like, I'll show you. Right here, there's like some holes in the wall in some spots. Like the tile is kind of, or the vinyl is coming up on the floor. Um, there's like a light bulb out over here. Wait a minute, no. Where's the light bulb out? Random screws in the wall. Um, there's some really bad, the windows look horrendous. We came in and there was just tape. Like these are all taped up, I'm just masking tape. I don't know why. Um, this window sill looks pretty rough. Um, stuff like, like this wall, you can't really see it because it's, oh, uh, where's the lights? There's a lot of water damage up there and they tried to hide it, I think. Um, obviously there's like water damage running all along the wall. Um, like just some, there's some stains and some areas on the paint. Um, the floor right here, there's like weird spots on the floor. The tub was pretty rough. We were able to get most of the most of it out. It looks a lot uh, like honestly, it looks a lot better now than it did before. And like it's all just stained, and we bleached the living hell out of it. And it's clean. It's just stained. Um, it kind of looks gross, but. Even here, like on this wall, we're just dense, so like paint's chipping, falls in it. And I, I mean, Noah's room has like a big stain on the paint. Jared has a couple stains in his room. You have a big hole in your wall too, don't you? Yeah. So there's just like some things that we want to be able to fix. And if not, we don't want that to void our security deposit at the end of our lease term. Like. It's, it's kind of the type of thing where, like, you're a little upset, you know what I mean? So it was kind of just like, there are these problems, and I want them to be solved. Whether that means you get involved, we both get involved, someone else gets involved. Regardless, we're going to solve these problems, right? Yeah.